Welcome in front of me I have a Fossil Gen 6 FTW 4066 watch and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the middle button. Once you see the Fossil logo on the screen you will see you, you, you can release it and wait until the watch turns on. And once the watch turns on, you will see the message tab to begin. Tap on the screen to continue. It will open the list of languages. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down. Find the language you would like to use on your watch. Once you find it, tap on it. And once you select the language, tap on the check mark to agree to terms. And now we need to download and install the Wear OS application uh, on our iPhone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on the search icon, then tap on the search bar and uh, type in uh, Wear OS. And once you see the list of applications, you, sh you should see the Wear OS by Google. Tap on it, tap on the Get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, tap on Open. Then tap on Start Setup. Agree. Enable. Allow. And the app will start searching for the nearby devices and it should see your Fossil Gen 6. Tap on it to select it. Let me lower the brightness a little, like this. Once you see this pop-up, tap on Pair. Then tap on Confirm. Okay, and here we can connect our watch to the Wi-Fi. This is useful if you want to use some features like Google Play Store, YouTube, Gmail and stuff like that on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to skip this step. You can also, and if you want to connect your watch, you can tap on the uh, network, enter the password. And once you enter the password, tap on join and the watch will be connected to the network. I'm just gonna tap skip. Here we can uh, copy a Google account from our iPhone to our watch. So if you have any Google account, uh, on your iPhone, you can copy it to your watch. If you don't have an account, you can tap on sign in, log in into a Google account on your iPhone and that account will be copied uh, to your watch. This is useful again if you want to use Google services on your watch. I'm gonna tap on use Wear OS without an account, but if you want to use it, you can tap on sign in. Next we have the calendar and this is basically, uh, it, it is asking us for permission uh, to use the calendar. And this is useful if you want to see the events on your calendar and stuff like that. Tap on continue and allow or deny the uh, permission. I'm gonna deny it. Then tap on continue. Should be going further. Will, will it force me to, oh, never mind. Okay, next we have the notifications at glance. And basically this is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you want to use the, this feature, allow uh, the permission. If you don't care, you can uh, deny it. And then we have the chat with your friends. This is for the messages. So if you want to sync your contacts and see who's m messaging you, you can also reply on the watch. You need to tap on continue and allow the permissions. If you don't care, you can deny it. And then we have the local information. So the location, this is useful for the weather, tracking your uh, routes while you're cycling, running and stuff like that. So if you want to use these features, allow the permission. If you don't care, deny it. And once you're done with the permissions, you will see the finish, finishing page and let's wait until the setup is complete. Okay, now let's tap on done. And at this point you should see your Fossil Gen 6 
and the app and the watch should be ready to use. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.